Authority, meteorologist Ron Rose. It's the middle of December. It feels like the middle of December now. Last week, of course, we had October-like temperatures. We were in the 60s for highs. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. That is a distant memory. Well, it may not be distant, but it's a memory. It's in the rearview mirror, that's for sure. But we don't have any 60s in the forecast, but it looks like next week we will begin in the 50s. So that's not too bad. Of course, that's Christmas week when a lot of people probably want to see it a little colder and maybe see a little snow. Too early to say if we're going to have a white Christmas, but I would not bank on that. If we take a look outside right now, we might see a little white tonight, though, up to the northwest of Evansville. Not really expecting much more than maybe a few flakes mixed in with a few drops and a few pellets here in Evansville or Owensboro, where we're looking right now. That's our Kincaid camera downtown on top of the Hampton Inn, looking out toward the east. Had a really pretty sunrise. If you missed it, that's okay. I've got pictures to show you. Here's the thing about this time of the year. You don't have to get up too early to see the sunrise. The sun is rising around 7 o'clock Evansville time. And you don't have to stay up too late. Of course, the sun is setting around 4.30. Usually, though, you get your best color after the sun goes down. So you got to stay up till 5 o'clock. But, I mean, it's not hard to do. It's like in the summertime when you get your best color quarter to 9. You're thinking, that's not that late. It is on this shift, though. As we take a look outside, you can see got the clouds in the sky kind of stacking up a little bit more. We're still seeing the sunshine filtering through a lot of these higher clouds. Though This is downtown Evansville, the Zemer Funeral Home Camera on top of Fifth Third Bank. Plenty of traffic on the Lloyd Expressway. I would imagine some of those are last, well, not really last minute. I mean, it's, it's Christmas shopping. Angie, you've got your Christmas shopping done, by the way. Just about. Just I've about. Never, I've never done. Uh, you'll pick up something on the last day. Just to have a little something for Dirty Santa or whatever, right? We take a look at the traffic on 69. Looks like it's rolling right along at that major interchange. Right now it's 36 degrees. We've got an east wind at 13 miles an hour. I told you that earlier, the east wind, we like the least. East because it means the winds are shifting around and they are going from high pressure to low pressure as low pressure starts to move on in. Oh, by the way, the pressure reading is pretty high right now, but it's going to be getting lower and lower. So you might have a headache later on tonight. It might be pressure related too. Maybe not. Maybe it's just the stress of the holidays, right? 32 degrees in French Lick, we do a little run. Uh, 33 Lagodi, 34 Jasper, 35 Santa Claus, 36 degrees Tell City, 37 Beaver Dam, 38 for Mom on Calhoun, and it's 39 degrees in Madisonville. No 40s on the board yet. I think most of those will be in the low to mid 40s for a high today. Wind speed wise, look at all those double digits at 20 miles an hour in Owensboro. I think most people, though, falling in the 5 to 15 mile per hour range. At the same time, right at the high end there, Henderson, 15 miles an hour, Jasper, 15 miles an hour, 14 miles an hour in Santa Claus. You get the picture. We've got a wind chill out there to deal with. No teens still on the board, but it feels like 24 in Jasper, 23 in both Henderson and Morgan Field. So the chill is definitely still on, and 24 is what it feels like in Owensboro right now. Oh, beautiful sunrise this morning. Here are a few pics to show you. Connie Howerton got the goods on this one on the west side of town. And what the You'll notice this time of the year, the leaves off the trees, and you can see through the trees. I mean, seriously, if you had the leaves on the trees right now, all you would see is a pink, which is still really pretty, don't get me wrong. You wouldn't really see the orange and the yellow down along the horizon, so great shot there. Here's another good one, too. This is from Near Angel Mounds in Newburgh. Mara Andro got this great shot here of that pink in the sky, and you can see the, the deeper colors, the deeper orange and yellow down to closer to the horizon, the tree line. Great shot there from Mara. And here's our live first warning Doppler radar. It's a great shot right now because it has nothing on it, but it's going to be seeing uh, some rain, sleet, and snow later on. You can see the clouds starting to thicken up a little bit. The brighter white clouds on that infrared satellite indicating the higher clouds and thicker clouds. But we are noticing a thinning. Got a few frames that are glitched in there. But at the same time, you can see like some thinning up there around Wabash County. So even though we have more clouds moving in, we're still going to get some sunshine and filtered at times. And as we take a look out west, you are noticing the system starting to take shape. This is that area of low pressure, plenty of snow right now in Kansas and also Oklahoma. And it looks like it's going to be a pretty good snowmaker just to our north. From St. Louis to Indianapolis, one to three inches worth of snow is possible out there. If we take a look at Future Tracker, you can see again, there's some thinning of the clouds in spots. But basically, it's just going to be increasing clouds as we go through the afternoon. Pretty thick are the clouds as we head into evening. Maybe a few showers popping up before midnight, maybe a few flakes up to the northwest. But for the most part, it's going to hold off until around midnight or beyond. You can see the rain starting to pick up a little bit. Uh, look to the northwest. And really, Fairfield, Flora only, the northwest corner of the tri-state, that's where we could see some accumulating snow. Still looks like it's going to be less than an inch. Not a big deal. But overnight, that's where the snow is going to be falling. Vincennes, you might see some minor accumulation up there, too. As you work your way down towards 64, really down to the south, it's going to be too much of a mix. What you see in 
pink is going to be a little bit of sleet and a rain snow mix right there and then of course just mainly rain down in western Kentucky is what it looks like for most of this event if our RPM verifies and other guidance is showing this too so basically the northwest corner north and west of Evansville is where we have the best chance for some accumulation for the rest of us there's going to be too much rain in the mix although at times you might hear some ticks on the old windshield indicating some sleet out there too doesn't look like we're going to see the freezing rain with this event but still it could be a little messy on your morning drive and maybe a few drops and a few flakes too uh, later on tomorrow afternoon and evening. But for the most part, this event is going to be from midnight till around midday the next day. So we're about a 12 hour event there. So the morning time for our Wednesday rainfall amounts. Not exactly plentiful, less than a quarter of an inch. And of course, most of the rain's going to be falling because it'll be almost straight rain in a lot of parts of western Kentucky. Up to the northwest, that's where we could see some minor accumulations. Carmine, maybe two tenths of an inch, but basically it's going to be Fairfield, Flora only. Those areas, uh, Albion could see a little bit of accumulation. Zero, though, in Princeton, and points to the south and to the east from there. Not looking like much snow at all. But it is. It's going to be a decent snow again up to our northwest. Here's my forecast for today, calling for high before the rain, sleet, and snow in the low to mid 40s this afternoon as more clouds start to stack up on top of each other. We're going to see an east-northeast wind at around 5 to 15 miles an hour. Over the next seven days, temperatures are going to be staying pretty chilly, well, at least over the next few days. 38 for high tomorrow. And of course, we got the mess first thing in the morning. It tapers off in the afternoon. Thursday, we see sunshine. We're going to need it too. A high of only 39 degrees. And then Friday looks pretty good. In fact, I think the best looking day of the week other than maybe Sunday, although it's going to be a little cloudy on Sunday, but Friday, some sunshine and 45 degrees upper 40s both days over the weekend chance for rain and just rain it looks like on Saturday and look at this we start Christmas week Angie with a high temperature of 52 degrees so I mean we're talking about a pretty mild deal there speaking of cool oh, beautiful. this is from just Huntingburg beautiful. this morning if you missed the sunrise Rob Kramer getting the goods there and once again kind of similar to what the setup we had here in the Evansville area where you had the really the deep orange and the yellow right along the horizon and kind of the pink and blue as you work your way up. All from there. those colors are stunning. Thank they you are. for this. So good. I love it. We'll be back with more lifestyles. After